Welcome to this installment of the Secure Your DNS, Secure Your Network video series. My name is Tim Rooney, Director of Product Management at BT Diamond IP. And the goal of this video series is to break down into bite-sized chunks the many ways that the domain name system, or DNS, can be attacked or manipulated for nefarious purposes, and to provide some suggested mitigation strategies that you can employ to protect your DNS implementation. In this video, we'll look at pseudo-random subdomain attacks, or PRSD attacks. These attacks are a denial-of-service type of attack, where an attacker can use a distributed denial-of-service attack, perhaps using a bot, to issue voluminous queries, as you would in a normal denial-of-service attack. But in this case, I'm actually asking all of my queries. I'm sending DNS packets, so it's a special form of distributed denial-of-service attack. I'm using DNS packets, I'm making requests for a common domain root, so example.com in this case. But I'm randomizing or pseudo-randomizing the subdomain. So here I've got a query for random one string dot example.com. That's one query, random a second random string dot example.com, and so forth. And all of these attackers are creating these randomized labels and providing the suffix of the domain that I'm attacking, example.com. So what happens is my recursive server sends all these queries to the example.com DNS servers and basically ends up bringing that, those servers down with respect to a denial of service attack. So the use of the pseudo-random label really bypasses the cache on the recursive server. For each query, it's going to issue it against the example.com authoritative server thereby bringing it down with respect to having all of these queries coming in from perhaps one or various recursive servers and denying the service to that authoritative service. So what can you do about this attack? Well, you can monitor your DNS query traffic volume. So if you've got a lot of volume coming from a given set of recursive servers, for example, it can maybe help you identify or pinpoint the origin of the attack but you certainly want to have a heads up when the volume starts going up. For the recursive server itself, if you're operating a recursive server, perhaps a service provider where you're getting a lot of various queries, and, uh, or even within an enterprise, you want to look at throttling those queries per client, so allowing a given client to only have a, a given quota, for example, if you can throttle that with your DNS server implementation. Uh, also, throttle queries per, per server destination, per authoritative server, and or zone. So I know in ISC there's various controls you can implement to have outstanding queries per server and also queries per zone so that you have a limit on how many queries you're going to send to a given server or to a given server for a given zone for protection. From the authoritative server side, if you're the one being attacked basically, receiving all these queries for pseudo-random subdomains, you want to deploy certainly multiple authoritative servers and also consider any cast addressing as you would to protect against the standard distributed denial of service attack. This mechanism is also effective when protecting yourself against a PRSD attack, which again is a form of distributed denial of service attack. Hopefully this, these mechanisms can help protect you against possible PRSD attacks against your DNS infrastructure.